we Catholics are tirelessly accused of worshipping idols. When we go to Manawag or when we make a procession of the Black Nazarene, the favorite attack against Catholics is we are worshipping idols and it is a sin. It is true that worshipping idols is a sin. But we Catholics do not worship images. We Catholics do not worship sculptures. We Catholics do not worship pictures. They are reminders. But so much for the accusation that we are an idolatrous church. I would like to point out an idolatry that is real, an idolatry that is really sinful. And what is that idolatry? It is not the worship of images. It is not the worship of pictures. It is not the worship of statues. Rather, it is the worship of self. That is the worst idolatry. It is the worship of your own opinion that you cannot tolerate other opinions. It is the worship of your own beliefs, of your own convictions, that everything that comes from other people is unacceptable. It is when you look at the mirror and then you say, Ganda ko talaga. That is self-worship. And that is forbidden. But you see, my dear brothers and sisters, we have become mature and sophisticated and professional enough that we don't say, we say we don't do that. But really and truly, if the commandment of the Lord is love God and love neighbor is to be followed, then we have to be honest with ourselves that we are not really following love. We are not loving as the Lord has loved, and we are not loving our neighbor as ourselves. Tapatan. Aminin natin. Kasama ako. We are not really loving like the Lord. The least we can say is, we are decent with one another. We are polite with one another. We are courteous with one another. We practice justice with one another. But love? Love one another as the Lord has loved us? Or love your neighbor as you love yourself? If you're honest, you would be able to accept that we are not living the commandment, love one another as I have loved you. That is the reality. And we excuse ourselves by saying, but I really love my neighbor. I do charity for the poor. And then, watch. Hurt him. Hurt her. And then you will see the real color. Humiliate. Embarrass. Ignore. Take for granted. And then you will see bullets of threats. Spears and arrows of threats being thrown across the room because I was ignored, I was taken for granted, I was humiliated, I was forgotten, I was not given respect. That, my dear brothers and sisters, is the test if we are really loving like the Lord. And we know that we are not loving like the Lord. As I said, we are polite, we are civil, we are decent when it is convenient, when it is acceptable, when there are people watching. But when we are hurt, when we are ignored, humiliated, taken for granted, when we are lied to, when we are cheated, then the spears and the anger are thrown across. And then we realize, is that how the Lord loves? Is that how the Lord has loved us? We are very far from it. Here we are, decent, polite, just. 
during comfortable, convenient times. But here is the challenge to love in actuality, to love in reality, to love truthfully, to love as we have been loved, to love your neighbor as you love yourself, to love, you, to love one another. How can we reach that actuality? St. Thomas Aquinas has a beautiful answer if we want to love as the Lord has loved us. Here we are, polite and decent, minimalistic. Here is the level of actuality, of reality, of loving as we have been commanded to love. How can we reach that? The bridge is at least to desire that something good happens to your enemies. At least to desire that something good happens to those who hurt you. Something good happens to those who plot against you. Something good happens to those who forget to you, who, to those who humiliate you, to those who cheat you. That is the stepping stone into actual loving. If we can only move that step forward to be able to desire the good of the others, even if we are not able to die yet for them, even if we are not able to sacrifice yet for them, if we are not, even if we are not able to love as the Lord has loved us and to love them as we love ourselves, at least to desire, that is good enough. And when we desire, the Lord will guide us by the hand to be able to love in actuality. So three steps, my dear brothers and sisters, when it comes to loving God and loving our neighbor as God has loved us. The first step is at least be polite, be decent, be civil. If you catch yourself throwing stones, throwing bullets, throwing spears, throwing arrows, because you have been ignored, taken for granted, cheated, maligned, then return to yourself and be decent again. And after being polite, being respectful, being just, Go to the next step and desire something good for those who have hurt you. Desire something good for those who have ignored you. Desire something good for those who have cheated you. Desire something good for those who have wrecked your dreams. Desire something good for those who have attempted against your life. And believe me, if we can only make that desire for the ones who have hurt us, then we will be able to move one step higher than that and love in actuality and make the love of the Lord and our love of self become the rule of our lives. Three steps. From being polite, desire the best. From desiring the best, Love in actuality. And we will be able to make it for as long as we are living here on earth. Today we will receive the Lord and I will say to you, body of Christ, and you will say, Amen. When you say, Amen, whisper without saying it with your lips. Whisper it with your heart Silence in silence, heart to heart. Say to the Lord, Lord, may I rise up from simply being decent and polite to desiring for the well-being of those who have hurt me. And with that desire, may I be transformed into somebody who loves in reality, somebody who loves with action, somebody who loves with my life. I will do it, Lord, because you have loved me that way.